He came up with his first idea for his invention while at UC Davis, but found the grant and the research lab through the University of Texas. So we relocated to Texas for 25 years, and this is his dream come true and his way to come back. And we brought the whole family together. So my brother and I mm. both work here, and sister-in-law. They are on vacation uh, back in Texas for the weekend, so mm. <laughs> it's just me and mom today. And uh, we've been building this and planting this over the years and were finally open uh, for the public, well the public were private appointment only, but um, that our version of the public uh, since 2006. We're at the Palmez Winery here in Napa Valley. This winery is founded actually by a um, guy who was a former surgeon who created the heart stint and has since sold it to Johnson & Johnson. Um, it's a beautiful winery, very unique in architecture, a lot of stone in the front um, and a very sort of massive with arches um, and thick walls. And this is actually one of the areas where they hold tastings. And you can see it's a very modern architecture, um, very unique, the lighting, the detail and um, beautiful wine glasses, so, I mean wine bottles. So this um, has a very uh, uh, sort of craftsman-like look to uh, the wine uh, bottle and the label has a great texture to it. Um, so we'll be doing some tastings here and uh, it should be very interesting. What's nice when you visit this place is there's a lot of great artwork around as well, modern artwork here um, and prints. So it's not only a great place to taste wines, but it's also nice to check out the unique architecture and the artwork that's housed in this winery. So let's go and see what the wines are like. What's interesting about this winery is because they didn't have a lot of plantable area, they only have a 600 acre vineyard, um, they wanted to not take up any footprint with their actual uh, building. So their actual building here is four stories, but it's all underground against the mountain. And the theory is that uh, they um, covered it all with stone. And one day when all the plantings grow up um, from down there, you won't be even able to see this winery. So it's really going to meld into the environment. Um, and it's just amazing looking at this, that there's three more stories underground of their aging um, areas as well as um, their bottling facilities. And it actually makes a lot of sense because it's cooler underground, um, much more energy efficient, uh, and uh, great, uh, you know, sort of family involvement as well. Um, we're getting a tour of it uh, by one, uh, their daughter, actually, uh, who's going to show us around. So let's go and take a look at this unique winery. We're now at a location in size of the winery and, and facilities, production facilities. And if you look down here, you'll just get a sense of the scope of this uh, winery and production facility. I mentioned four stories deep. You can start to see just um, what's been carved into this hill. Um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, this is uh, somewhat like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but instead they're producing wine here. Um, really amazing. The uh, facility here that's so um, sort of, uh, you know, the outside of the facade looks so um, uh, understated compared to the inside, the technology, as well as the scope and size. And what's also interesting is the arches. Every single hallway is arched, sort of like, I, I always imagine I'm in like a gopher in this um, hill. And uh, this is one of the most unique wineries. Um, it's by private tasting only, so you need to make an appointment to come and visit them. I'm Kat, I'm with the Napa Valley Vintners. I've seen a few of you guys uh, yesterday and today. Uh, thank you again for joining us here in the valley on what is a beautiful day. Uh, today's seminar is called uh, Following in the Family Foot Stomps. Okay. And uh, we have a fantastic panel. Yeah, to some extent, but she she was a strong person. She is a strong person. And she walked in saying, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. Today, they need help in the tasty room. I'll go in there and do that. And then the next day, I'm out in the cellar doing, you know, rinsing out barrels. That's what keeps me. Because I know I can have the flexibility to go and 
explore all the different things and I'm encouraged to do so. My dad will be thrilled if I'm in the lab running tests and then the next day, you know, out on the road selling. Opening that next bottle that put blows your socks off. That gets me, st I still, it still gets to me, you know? I'm like, oh my God, that's fabulous. How do I make that my wine? You know, that still gets me. I'm still, I'm still a junkie for the glass.